for Brunei is simply gorgeous for the decisive 18 holes. For those of you shivering in Europe, by the way, the yellow ball was the sun, and yes, the skies are blue. Merriman leads by one from Cunning and Cameron, but only four shots separate the top nine players. Joining me today, I'm glad to say, John Hawksworth. And for these fellows about to tee off in the final three ball, there's bound to be plenty of pressure. Very much so. Absolutely. Nerves will be jangling. They're all there just preparing to start their final round. But ahead on the first green, Chung with a birdie put at the first, moving to two under early. Sam Torrance was striping it on the range just a few moments before teeing off. Overcooked his approach shot on the first, but at least his chip was OK, and par would be saved. Sadly, a little bit of trouble for Lyle at the second, but a good shot. He would save his par. He would go on to par the third, but a bogey at the fourth would take him back to level par. Now, it's quite a gentle opener, this first, only 367 yards, but the pin today is the toughest it's been all week. Not, though, for Doug Johnson, picking up where he left off yesterday. A birdie chance, but it wasn't converted. Well, on to the par five, which a lot of the players have been reaching this week. A little bit tougher today, 537 yards into a bit of breeze. Doug Johnson with his third shot, minus five at the moment. That wonderful round that he put together yesterday. Good shot there, leaving himself below the pin, but round in 64 blows yesterday. Something special. Now on the first tee, David Merriman. One right down the middle here would soothe a few nerves. And sweating up in the paddock already. Well, I watched him out on the range. He was working pretty hard, and in the full blaze of the sunshine, he's found the fairway. That's a good position. Thank you. Anywhere onto the fairway at the first cluster of bunkers down the right hand side to be avoided. It was a par four on the first for Sergio Bihara. Doesn't have the length to get up onto the second in two. But that's his forte. Around the greens, he's mustered. Well, so is this man. Remember, cast your mind back to 95, that pitch at St Andrews in the Open Championship. Just a little bit longer, his third shot into the second. He did par the first, so Rocker, where he was overnight, four under par, and that's a cheeky little putt from behind the hole. He's hit a lot of balls this week. It means an awful lot to him, this tournament. Now, coming from the left-hand semi-rough, it's not too bad there. Now, there's a ridge that runs through this first green and he's just managed to avoid it and an excellent early chance for a birdie for Bob Cameron that'll settle the nerves down Merriman just a fraction longer 170 yards to the pin mustn't go long here there's a bunker and no room to work with just a wedge never won on the senior tour the Australian did win the tour school Yes, this is heady stuff for him. Four top tens last year, but to be leading a $400,000 event so late on, that means the pressure is cranked up. Now, our first look at Mike Cunning, our American visitor, with the smooth swing turn 50 last July, over here on an invitation, and that is a wonderful start. He'd dearly love to win today. Get himself exempt out on the senior tour. You know what you're doing then, Phil. You can plan your year. That's well, a long way to go yet. Here's a man who's fully exempt. Costa Tito Rocker, rookie of the year in 2007, winning two tournaments. He drew a blank in 2008, though, and he would like to put that to rights at the first available opportunity in 09. A birdie chance missed on the second, but at four under, he's there or thereabouts. Well, Doug Johnson laid up on this par five, played a nice little pitch into the green pad, the first, of course. This would take him to six under par within one, although it might be fairly brief, but nevertheless, silky stroke that got him round in 64 blows yesterday. Well done. What a story. 
severely burnt when a car Beretta blew up on him. He spent three weeks in hospital, 10 months of rehabilitation. This is his first tournament back. Right to left swinger for David Merriman. Well, that's a good putt. Any tension in the hands didn't seem to be present there at all. It's a big day for him trying to win your first tournament. He's never easy and in hot, sweaty conditions, and as is this man. Now, this is quick. Downhill right to left, the hole's behind his, his legs. Coax it down, grain. Oh, yes, just what the doctor ordered. So, Mike Cunning joins David Merriman in the lead at seven under. It's quite apparent he's got a cunning plan. Birdie the first and see what happens. Now then, Sergio Bahara to get within two. I feel there's going to be a lot of birdies flying about today. Look at that putting stuff. He reminds me a little bit of Isao Aoki, the way they used to pick the, uh, the putter up quickly in the backstroke. But he's using it to great effect. He moves to five. Now, this is more conventional. And exactly the same outcome. Good start for Cunning on the first. It's been equaled by Bob Cameron. So one hole played then, and already the landscape of the leaderboard has changed. Now it's Merriman, Cunning and Cameron sharing pole position with Johnson in close proximity. John is back at the Empire Country Club in just a moment.